first time this year, we're in Baker County, Florida. Why are we in Baker County? Well, it's the home of the Wildcats. And it's also the home of maybe the greatest Friday night atmosphere around under the Friday night lights. Let's talk Baker County Wildcat football. This is Hackers High School Football Tour. Let's go. <laughs> Go, go, go! Oh, uh -huh, you wanted to come do it again, didn't you? Come on, let's go, do it. Let's go, hurry up. Baker County High School is where we are at. Hackers High School Tour rolls on with the Wildcats. And we got one of the best running backs in Northeast Florida, Cam Smith. One of the best seniors in Northeast Florida as well. Cam, thanks for having us out, man. Good to see you. It's a good to see you too. Baker County, you know, you guys are off to a fantastic start this year. You're in great shape for a postseason berth. What has 2022 been like for you so far? Um, it's been I mean, we struggled in the beginning of the season, but we're coming as a team, so I feel like we're going to finish it off strong. You know, you talk about some of the best running backs in the area. People talk about Sam Singleton at Fleming Island, certainly Trayon Webb at yeah. Trinity. You are absolutely in that conversation. Not so much even for this year, but your entire career, what you've accomplished out here at Baker County. When you look back on your career out here, what are some of your fondest memories? Uh, my best memory when um, I was a sophomore, and I had two – I had one senior in front of me and one um, junior in front of me. So we played Bra we played uh, Blackford County at home, and um, our uh, starter he got hurt, and my head coach came into the locker room. He was like, "Hey Cam, um, it's like my turn. Basically, like you finna go up." And um, fourth quarter came, we was like, it was like 14-0, something like that. And um, he put me in, and I came and put up three touchdowns. So that's what I. <laughs> That's what I remember the Since most. Since it's so nonchalant, like just three touchdowns, yeah. you know, only three of them. Uh, you have had some incredible performances. What do you attribute your success to? I mean, obviously there's a talent there, but your offensive line, the, the play of oh, yeah. your quarterback, I mean, it's a team effort out here oh, in yeah. Baker County. I, I, yeah, um, all credit goes to the men up above, but, you know, offensive line, Coach Mays, you know, um, just how the coaching is calling the plays and stuff like that, but offensive line for sure. You guys made it to the state final four last yes, year. Uh, you guys, again, very good this year. We're going to make the postseason again. You win out here at Baker County, man. There's a tradition of winning. I mean, do you do you guys embrace that, particularly seniors like you that are leaders? There's an expectation that Baker County makes the postseason pretty much yes, every year. It's, it's known. It's, I mean, that's what we expect to do. That's what we expected to do, you know. But Not to put the pressure on you because your coach is about 20 feet from us, but what is it like to play for head coach Kevin Mays? I mean, it's great. I mean, it's just, I like the experience, you know. He came in when I was a freshman, and he's just been good ever since. You know, whenever you hear Baker County, you hear about the atmosphere on Friday oh, yeah. nights out here at McClony, the stadium, the best environment in Northeast Florida. For people that haven't experienced it, haven't seen it, how would you best describe it? Man, it's crazy. Like, the, the day of the game, wake up, feeling good, you know. You, know, you can tell this game day around the school, like, it's just a vibe. And, like, the stadium always packed. The community show love to us and all that, but it's crazy on Friday night. All right, Coach, two miles from where you guys practice, we're here at your football stadium. Now, for people that follow football in Northeast Florida, they always hear about Baker County on Friday night. Unbelievably impressive stadium. Talk us about this environment and what it means to play here on Friday evenings. Well, it's, it's pretty neat, you know, where we were, you know, two miles down the road. The, the sheriff's department shuts down everything. So we come straight through, sirens blaring. So if you're here in the stadium, you'll hear, you'll be, okay, team's coming. So it's neat, and we pull up right back here, come through this gate, and the team, you know, we walk in, they put their stuff in the locker room, and then we come out here, and, you know, they do their, their prayer before the game, but back here behind the stadium, you know, we have a booster tent set up, and our booster does a great job, and they feed everybody, take care of things, and they have a, you know, a real tailgate type experience out here with food and everything. And then obviously you can see with the proximity of where the sideline is compared to the stadium, wow, you yeah. really get that hometown hometown advantage. I mean, the band's here and this place is, you know, is sold out almost every time we play. The reserve section in the middle there where the press box is, that's our reserve seats. Those have been sold out you know, for 50 years almost. So you have season tickets, basically. Yep, you could wow. you could not buy tickets in that section. Now, I mean, you've been doing this a long time from your time down south. Now you're here. 
I mean, I know you do, but do your kids appreciate this? I mean, this is not a normal high school football stadium. I hope they do. And yeah. you try to explain that, that I've been to other places because, you know, I've been to other places where you go see other teams play and there's 50 people in the stands mm -hmm. and they don't quite, they don't quite understand that. And they're, they're, this is what they're used to. I mean, you came to our middle school championship last night. It was packed. Yeah. I mean, it was packed right here. So it, it's a, uh, it's a really special place to be, to be able to coach at. And, uh, you know, I try to tell the kids all the time how special it is to be here and to have what this place does for them. When you got here, you added this as a tribute to the past teams at Memorial Stadium. What was your thinking in doing that? Well, when you go to big football programs, the tra tradition rich programs, they always have their history somewhere. So I wanted to make sure that our history was here and all the players that have played in the past that, that had a mark that they left here, I wanted to make sure that they had their years put up here. And as you can see, we left a lot of room for hopefully future, future years to be added. We see Final Four appearance 2021. You guys got to the Final Four last year. What did that mean to you? What did that teach your program? And now with the whole Metro Suburban thing, you won't have to play Miami teams again. Yeah, it's it's tough to go down and play team teams like that, you know. And 2017's up there, they had to go down and play American Heritage, and it's it's tough. And we had to go play it down and play Miami Central, which I think right now they're like third in the nation. Um, it was a fun trip. We knew we were had our uh, backs against the wall, but you know, at halftime it was 14-14, and we, you know, gave them everything we could, and they just at the end out athleted us at the end. But you know, for any team to have their year up here, it's a it, it's it's a proud moment for them. Our tour of Baker County Wildcat football continues. We already talked one of the offensive guys. Now let's talk to one of the main defensive guys. That's Orlando Holland here at Baker County. Orlando, how you doing? I'm doing good. Hey, Orlando, appreciate you having us out. I asked you how many sacks this year. You said eh, six, seven, maybe eight. Who really keeps count at this point? Boy, you like getting to the quarterback, don't you? Yes, sir. Favorite thing to do. Favorite thing to do is get yes, to the sir. quarterback. Uh, with your size, obviously, people can tell you are a defensive end. Uh, your cousin Jeff Holland, yes, uh, sir. very popular local high school football here player back in the day. Uh, what is it about getting to the quarterback, a mindset you have to have to be able to get to the opposing QB? I just, I, I got I to gotta get to the quarterback. It's just, that's just how I am. I, that's what I like to do. <laughs> what did you learn last year with a state Final Four run? Obviously you got all the way to Miami Central in the state semis. What did that experience, uh, what, what did you learn there? It, it showed me, like, it basically humbled me. It humbled me. Now I know I got to get better. And, you know, when people talk about Baker County, they obviously talk about the atmosphere. Friday night, the town shuts down, the, the crowd here in McClenny. For people that haven't embraced that Orlando, haven't seen that, what do you want to tell them about Friday nights down here at Baker County? Friday nights, that's it's an experience you will never get. Only in Baker County. It's, it's nice. What has it meant to you here at Baker County? I know obviously you hope there's a postseason run. We all do for you guys. But obviously, you know, another month and a half, two months, your career at here is going to come to an end. Yes, You're going to play college football somewhere. you got some offers out there, including, you know, D1 offers from the likes of Troy. But the Baker County time will come to an end eventually. When you think back to your career here, what are some of your fondest memories? My fondest memories are uh, last year uh, against Wakala. I got... Uh, seven sacks in one game. <laughs> Wait a minute. Seven sacks in one game? Yes, sir. Seven sacks. Well, well, um, I, had, I had 28 sacks last year. 28 quarterback sacks last year? Yes, sir. Wow. I mean, do you ever, th I mean, obviously you do. When you think back on 28 sacks, there's not a lot of people that can say that. High school, college, obviously that's never happened in the NFL. What did that mean to you to accomplish that? Oh, that, it feels it feel great. All I know, I, all I wanted to do was get more than Jeffrey got. <laughs> that was I, the motivation, yes, though. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jeffrey was my motivation. And I, I would imagine you had to get more than Jeff. He was a great yes, player, sir. but I don't think he ever got 28 sacks. Uh, Baker County football, uh, again, as we're winding down your career here, what does it mean to you? When, you? when somebody says, tell me about the Baker County Wildcats, what does that mean to Orlando Holland? I mean, uh, this is my family. This is, where I'm, this is where I live. I live and breathe, Baker County. Set, go! Orlando, you know, he told you last year they called him uh, Sack Clinic because of the Wakulla game. He had se <laughs> he had seven 
seven uh, sacks in that game and 28 total last year. And he's found out it's a little harder this year because guys are keen on him a little more. But again, real special kids, real special kids. And they've, they've left their mark here. Um, Cam Smith, as far as an offensive guy, is an electric and as good as I've had. And I was talking to you earlier, you know, I got a couple guys that are in the NFL and he's as good as those guys. You know, hopefully you got a deep postseason run ahead of you. But even with that, obviously your time here at Baker County is starting to wind down a little bit, you being a senior. What has Baker County football meant to you? What does it mean to you? It means, it means basically everything because everything, that's all I've been doing my whole life, basically playing football in Baker County. But it means a lot to me. You know, final thought for you, Cam. 2022 Baker County coming off a big win over Uly. You got a big game against Jackson coming up this Friday night. What do you want people to know about the 2022 Baker County Wildcats? What are your expectations there the next month or so? Man, my, my expectations for the Baker County Wildcats. State, state game, you know. That's all I got to say. Hey, state man. Game. You got within one game of it last year. You want to get a little farther this year. Ring on me. Ring me, please. Ring me, please. <laughs> Ring me, please. <laughs> A big thank you to head coach Kevin Mays and everybody out here with Baker County Wildcat football for their unbelievable hospitality. Hackers High School Football Tour is brought to you by Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. Next week, our season finale, and we're ending where we started, back in Duval County. We'll catch you next week on Hackers High School Football Tour. Let's go.